We've talked to you in the past. We talked to you uh, right after Idol. Mm -hmm. We talked to you, geez, man, we talked to you a number of times. And now we're, we're talking to you as guys in a country station and really enjoying the thing you did with Reba. Nice, nicely done. Thank you. How did that come about? Did she talk to you? Did you talk to her? What, what? I'm actually, uh, randomly enough, um, we met like five years ago, but then I ended up, um, I'm friends with somebody in LA that's really good friends with her nieces and they're sure. all my age. Okay. So I was hanging out with them and they were like, Hey, you want to come see a show? I was on tour and they was like, Reba's performing in Vegas. Right. You want to come up to see a show? And I went and I, I'd never seen her live. So I was, you know, completely loving it. And we went backstage and she happened to ask me, um, cause we'd run into each other a lot of times just cause of her niece or whatever. And, um, then uh, she was like, yeah, she was like, I'm doing this duet album. Would you be interested in doing it? And I literally, I was like, I laughed, I think. I was like, no. I was like, I don't want to do that. Like, yeah, I was, I, I flipped out. So she probably thinks I'm weird, but it's cool. But <laughs> <laughs> she actually probably knows I'm weird because we're friends. So. Was it one of those situations where you're in the studio with her? Or did you guys tape your separate tracks no, no, we at different were, times? We, were, we, went, uh, we actually cut two songs. We, okay. we went in for this one song. For, uh, first, it's called A Lot Like You. And then we ended up doing Crossroads. Um, this thing on CNT, right, sure, yeah, was and um, we sing each other's songs, right? And she'd always loved "Because of You," my song. So she, whenever we sang it on the show, I was like, "Well, why don't you start the song off?" You know, and she started singing it, and then we ended up, you know, trading off or whatever. And then by the end of it, she was just like, oh, "I love this song." She was like, "I'd really love to replace the other one with this one." It sounds so pretty, and it did. It sounds really pretty with no, the, way to go. You got a head harmony. Of it. Nice I know job. it was so. I it was random, but I mean, obviously it's Reba, so anything she sings, she's gonna be. Amazing. Was so, it a little, little odd for you to tell her what to do? Why don't you start this song? Oh, I did not do that. <laughs> yeah. No, she's a lot like me in a sense where she kind of knows what she likes. So, yeah, we're, we're both the same kind of person. So uh, you, you've done the NASCAR thing, and yeah. now you're doing the NFL kickoff thing. You're, are you becoming the go-to sports performer girl? Well, this is what's going I kind on of always been that girl on, on default because I live with my brother. Who's oh, okay. Right on. So, yeah, he's, and he's like intensely like in love with sports, like every, every sport, every player everything like okay. so he's kind of crazy about that so um i've always kind of you know had to love it i guess and now i just genuinely do now because i it's always on on tv at home and stuff so. so you're pretty well versed in the sporting uh universe you think maybe not well versed but i always have him with me so i'm like okay. well, who's this yeah. guy i was like well, what's happening now so he's really good with me so you've got a tutor That's now good. wait yeah, a second a can, can i ask you something yeah does your brother live with you or does uh your brother do you live with your brother how does that work exactly? You said you live with your brother. It's not like you're crashing on his couch, oh, well, are you? We live together. I mean, because he, well, because I travel so much that he ends up um, taking care of my property. I have like 60 acres of land. So he That's has to like take care of, yeah. So <laughs> he has to take care of it and everything. And so we get on the John boy. We, he loves it. Oh my God. He got a trail. It's okay. He got a tractor and it's like air conditioned and like he has like a little iPod set up in it. That's he's such a dude. not yeah. a tractor. I know. Awesome. He thinks he's so country too. Too, Cause he didn't, we didn't grow up together and I grew up in like a smaller country town and okay. he grew up in a city, more of a city. All right. So he always tries to out country me and I'm like, it's never going to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you have an air conditioned tractor. <laughs> you pussy boy. No, <laughs> now does, the, yeah. you know, does the spread of land have a name yet? Is it, or is it called something? Is it we, a ranch? I got, no, somebody asked me that the other day and I was like, I don't have a name for it. Oh. I need to figure out one. I know I don't have a name. Because it's not like a ranch ranch. Our neighbors have horses that go in our land, but we don't. So Yeah, but 60 acres needs a name. I know. I I'm so mean. It's like I'm not naming my animal or something. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a radio contest to name your 60 acres. <laughs> I would totally do that, and I'll name my land that. Call her dad. Name Kelly's ranch right now. <laughs> I'd like to Wacky call it Obrasio. Super McClarksonville. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing lame like that. <laughs> hey! That was the best I could come up with, Clarkson. Uh, you, you got 60 acres, I guess, uh, selling 15 plus million records will, will help you do that um yeah at, at didn't what, hurt at yeah. what point did you realize that that uh maybe this was something that was going to stick i mean you, you won american idol then then there were the grammys and and all these other awards at what point did you realize hey i'm actually doing this um i think i mean this is gonna sound so weird but i think ever since i was a, like i started singing i was like 13 i think when i found out like i could sing and i and i kind of saw the reactions on people's faces i was like I'm going to go with this. And I'm and and I'm really like and I say this I'm not being like modest or anything. I really have no other talents. Like <laughs> I really can sing and write and that's it. And that's up for opinion obviously. So, you know, so I, I don't know. I really like I, I ever since I figured I could sing, I just been going with it and I knew I would 
I know it sounds weird, but you know, like you just know in your head, like I know this is gonna work because it's like almost have to, like it's it's gotta work, like or I'm gonna live in a box. Like, yeah, we <laughs> actually feel that way every day, don't we? No, it's <laughs> we a weird thing. Like people ask you, like, did you ever think you'd be here? And I was like, well, I think you have to think it, like, and and everything. So yeah, well, living in a box isn't that bad, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from Will. It's Eat actually it well. quite, uh, I don't know, romantic, you could say. All right. Now, are you watching American Idol? Are you watching it as a progressive? Um, or I had never too busy? gotten. Or no, I'd never gotten to uh, watch any of them except for this past one that Jordan Sparks in the Really? Playing. Yeah, I'd always been on tour overseas. Sure. Like, so I always missed it. And then by the time it's over, it's like, well, I already know who won. So, I mean, what's the point? So. Friday morning, Brian Dunkelman will be on the show he with is, us. I love him. You will love him. Oh, no. He's oh, been on the program him, yeah. before. Oh, my God. You know? He is one of my favorite. He was my favorite at Idol when we were doing the show. Like, I love, I mean, Ryan's obviously, I love him. But uh, Brian was just He's hilarious. Like, he's just so witty and, like, down to earth and, like, so not phased by anything. He's he was a touch my favorite. angrier these days. Oh, is he? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. I think, I think <laughs> late at night he, in his head, counts Seacrest's money. And it makes oh, right? him mad. Uh, I don't, he, that must but be he it. He really was, though. He was, he was all the, I mean, oh, the, all the contestants hilarious. loved him. Yeah, he is great. He's a he was a favorite. We'll say hi to him for you. Hey, yeah. have a great time here in Indy. And, uh, again, welcome back. It's a huge event yeah. on national TV. And uh, have and a great time. And Monument Circle. That's a very cool thing, too. It so. is. It's yeah. awesome. Thanks, Kel. No, anytime. Thank you.